My name is Dan Dembeck, and I am a curator at the Memphis Zoo. Genetic diversity is super important for the survival of uh, any species or any population of species. It basically is the variation of DNA in a population. That is super important for a population to sustain or survive. Imagine if we all looked the same, we all acted the same, we all were affected by the same things, then all it takes is one event to decimate all of us, one event that we're susceptible to. If you have a diverse population, then that one event may be bad for some people as, or some part of the population, but not the entire population as a whole. So that's why genetic diversity is super important. So when we plan uh, Sumatran tigers, the population in zoos, we wanna make it as genetically diverse as possible. My role as a curator here at the Memphis Zoo is first to acquire the animals, uh, work with other zoos to exchange animals, and then also, the most important, make sure the animals are taken care of with high welfare while they're here. In addition to that role, I am also one of the co-chairs of the Felid Taxon Advisory Group, what we call the Felid Tag. And the role of the Felid Tag is to essentially advise with all the AZA accredited zoos on how to manage cats, um, how, uh, what cat species to focus on, that sort of thing. So we advise on that. A big component of that is that we manage and create what are called SSPs, Species Survival Plans. Each species that we focus on has a species survival plan. We uh, decided to focus on Sumatran tigers. We could have looked at Malayan tigers. We could have looked at Amur tigers. We discussed with the coordinator of the Sumatran tiger species survival plan um, and asked for a breeding pair. Uh, let them know that we had space for a breeding pair, and they found one for us. Goosty was born at the Oklahoma City Zoo. Dari was born at the Point Defiance uh, Zoo and Aquarium out in Washington. They were a perfect match genetically to be a breeding pair, and so they sent them here to breed. So yeah, I was instrumental in facilitating that acquisition. But the process is a slow one because you want to make sure they're compatible before you put them together. When we introduced them, they didn't necessarily just breed right away. And actually, Dari was telling Goosty, no, thank you. I don't want to breed. And Goosty, luckily, was a gentleman. He was like, OK, yes, ma'am. I will respect your wishes. And um, so it took a few times to put them together, first for them to uh, even try to try to breed. And then when they did, they were a little bit awkward, not unusual. So it took us about three or four times and that was over the course of about uh, nine months, I think it was, before they actually successfully bred and Dari got pregnant. Um, and then what, the great part is the zookeepers did such a good job caring for Dari that they were able to get her to stand still. Now, we don't share space with tigers. We don't go in with them, but they got her to stand still. And we actually put a ultrasound probe through the mesh and were able to uh, notice that she was pregnant. And of course, we knew there was at least two tiger cubs. We weren't sure if there might have been a third, um, but she clearly only had two. Anyway, that was uh, fantastic to confirm pregnancy. We were ready for it. We knew exactly when it was uh, right around the time when she was going to give birth. You know, I learned about Action in Asia uh, a while ago. Um, it's a uh, conservation initiative. Uh, started by a number of professionals, both from the zoo world as well as the conservation world. And, um, and it's, it targets species in, in Indonesia that need conservation help. But now they're expanding to Sumatran tigers. And that really uh, connects with us because we focus on Sumatran tiger conservation as well. And so our role will be to help expand their Sumatran tiger program um, to focus on their conservation and, and to develop a one plan approach for them. So with the cubs being born, uh, we are helping with the sustainability of that SSP population so that we have what we call an ex situ, so an out of the wild uh, population that could be a backup population for the wild. As you know, Sumatran tigers are critically endangered. Action Indonesia is one initiative that is focusing on you know, helping sustain them in the wild. So this uh, backup population could play into that. Um, we also could participate in um, educating um, zoo professionals in Indonesia. For me personally, I mean, tigers have been a big part of my career. Um, to be a part of creating a sustainable population that could help um, tigers persevere and survive um, and live on. I mean, tigers are on the brink of extinction. They need help. And for us to contribute and to sustain tigers this way, um, that is very special to me. The team, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but tiger cubs are adorable, okay? It's a, it's a fact. 
tiger cubs are adorable they're fun the team was super excited and of course it's super rewarding for a plan to come together the way it did um, especially when the outcome is saving this beautiful species the most exciting part about all of this at the memphis zoo is not only our involvement with action in indonesia uh, but also the breeding of sumatran tigers and now that we have cubs we are contributing to uh, enhancing the genetic diversity of sumatran tigers and that could possibly feed back and save them in the wild it's great to be an active part of that